Good afternoon and welcome back to SNN. Breaking story today on the hour. Humana stock plunges on dismal 2024 forecast as insurers face soaring medical costs. Shares of Humana plummeted on Thursday after the health insurer issued dismal full-year earnings guidance, citing soaring medical costs that are dogging the broader insurance industry. Those expenses have spiked as an increasing number of older adults returned to hospitals to undergo procedures they had delayed during the pandemic, such as joint and hip replacements. Humana, which primarily provides government-backed insurance through the Medicare Advantage program, expects adjusted earnings of about $16 per share for 2024. That's a little more than half of the $29, 10 cents per share that analysts expected, according to LSAG, formerly known as Refinitiv. The guidance adds to Wall Street's concerns about health insurance company, profits falling as medical costs jump. United Health on Friday also reported its own jump in medical costs, though it was less extreme than Humana's. Humana shares plunged more than 10% on Thursday. Its forecast dragged down other health insurance stocks. Shares of both United Health and CVS Health fell more than 6% and 4% respectively. Cigna stock and Send shares both slid about 4%. Elevance Health also fell 2% on Thursday. But unlike Humana, the insurer forecast 2024 earnings above estimates on Wednesday after higher premiums in its commercial business helped control medical costs in the fourth quarter. Expectations for Humana's 2024 earnings guidance were already low after the company warned last week that medical costs were running higher than expected in the fourth quarter. It signaled that higher expenses could cut into its profits in the year ahead. Humana confirmed that pessimism on Thursday. It reported a medical benefit ratio the percentage of payout on claims compared with premiums of 90.7% for the fourth quarter. Analysts had estimated that the ratio would be 89.7% for the period, according to LSAG. The insurer cited an increase in outpatient services, such as orthopedic surgeries, and a swell in inpatient care in November and December among patients enrolled in Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage plans are privately run versions of the federal government's Medicare program, mostly for people age 65 and older. Those plans are one of Humana's biggest forms of coverage outside insurance. It provides for military families and retirees. Humana posted fourth quarter revenue of $26.46 billion, which beat analyst estimate of $25.42 billion, according LSEG data. But the company posted a loss of $591 million, or a 4.42 per share, in the fourth quarter. That compares with a loss of $71 million, or 12 cents per share, during the same period a year ago. Excluding certain items, Humana reported a loss of 11 cents per share. Analysts had expected the company to post earnings of 15 cents per share, according to LSEG. More news on the hour. GM Honda begin you. S fuel cell production in step toward replacing diesel. General Motors and Honda Motor have begun commercial production of hydrogen fuel cell systems in a step toward offering alternative zero emission solutions beyond battery electric vehicles. The fuel cell systems are produced through a 50-50 joint venture between the automakers at an $85 million facility in suburban Detroit. The companies, which are marketing and selling products separately, are calling the large-scale production at the joint venture the first of its kind in the U.S.E.C. Many in the automotive industry view fuel cells as a replacement for use cases for diesel fuel in things such as generators, heavy-duty trucks, semi-trucks, and construction equipment, among others. Executives for both automakers and the fuel cell system manufacturing LLC joint venture, as it's called said the start of commercial production marked a historical moment for the technology, which has been under development for decades. And it comes at a key time for fuel cells. Tightening emissions regulations, technological improvements, and heightened attention on environmental, social, and corporate governance, or ESG efforts have created a clear opportunity 
Officials said, Honda and GM began working together on the current fuel cell system in 2013. The highly automated process of producing the systems is complex and involves expensive materials such as platinum and carbon fiber, combined to produce flat cells. Each fuel cell system has 307 cells in it that are vertically stacked. Honda's system is expected to be introduced into vehicles this year with a crossover based on the popular CRV. GME's first applications are expected to be for backup power stations and large trucks in autocars fleet. Honda's forthcoming fuel cell vehicle is expected to be sold primarily in California, where some retail refueling stations for hydrogen vehicles have already been installed. The Japanese automaker previously sold a fuel cell vehicle called the Clarity, which ended production in 2021. Honda expects to sell roughly 2,000 of the fuel cell systems annually by 2025, followed by 60,000 units in 2030 and a few hundred thousand units per year by the second half of the 2030 C. That production volume compares with millions of traditional vehicles and EVs that GM and Honda are expected to produce in the years ahead. GM declined to release production or sales expectations for its fuel cell system, but Free said the factory is capable of scaling as needed. In 2017, GM said it expected to produce at least one fuel cell passenger vehicle by 2023. However, it ditched that plan less than three years later to focus on battery electric vehicles for consumers. Free said GM continues to view fuel cells as supplemental to GM's plans for battery electric vehicles, which include ending production of traditional gas-powered vehicles for consumers by 2035. Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles and equipment operate much like battery electric ones, but are powered by electricity generated from hydrogen and oxygen instead of pure batteries, with water vapor as the only byproduct. They're filled up with a nozzle, almost as quickly as traditional gas and diesel vehicles. Fuel cell vehicles face the same challenges as battery electric models, including consumer acceptance, fueling infrastructure, and cost. Those hurdles are why many expect fuel cells to first enter commercial applications, such as trucking with its set routes and destinations. The challenges are also why some critics doubt the potential market. 